Hello again, everybody. It's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. Brought you up here in the garden today because today is a special day. I went and got something today that I wanted for years and couldn't afford it. Can't afford it now, but somehow or another I managed to pull this off. This is finally Cimarron's Smith & Wesson Schofield number 3, 7 inch barrel, 45 coat. I've just been out here shooting it a little bit. I ain't shot it a whole lot. Um, I might have put 30, 40 rounds through it. Well, probably about 30 rounds through it. And it seems to be really accurate. As a matter of fact, seven yards. I put three or four shots in one daggum hole. And uh, I know it's not no long distance, but to me, that, that don't look too bad at all. Y'all, I've wanted one of these for so long. I got to thinking, you know, about everything I've got is a is a clone of a coat. And that in and of itself is not a problem at all. I love coat stuff. But I wanted something different. I come close to ordering a uh, their uh, Cimarron's 1875 Remington, they call the Outlaw. And I thought about the, uh, the uh, one that's based on the 1858 as a cartridge conversion. That looked kind of neat too. But y'all, I stood up late last night watching these videos and watching Hickok over and over again and a whole bunch of other, you know, a lot of good channels. And uh, I was trying to focus on the 1875 and then, of course, that 1858 conversion. And every time I would come up on a video for the Schofield, I got derailed big time. Back in February, this is what I intended to get, and my local gun seller didn't have one in stock, and I ended up buying the 1873 U-Birdie uh, rifle, 45 coat. I love that gun; it ain't going anywhere. But y'all, today I somehow managed to pull this off, and this was a brand new gun. Y'all know these are thousand-dollar guns. To me, that ain't nothing small. Uh, not, you know, I don't generally go into a whole lot of in-depth history on my videos, and uh, there's so many other people who do. You know, Hickok does a good job of talking a lot. He explains a whole lot, and uh, well, I mean, it's Hickok's channel. You know, what do you expect, except for it to be outstanding? Me, it's just a little bit of light show off, a little bit of having fun, a little bit of shooting, a whole lot of missing the uh, obligatory bloopers, and today you get to hear my mower, uh, my mower. My neighbor over here mowing his grass, he's not 70 yards, 65 yards from me, but he's done heard me out here shooting, so he'll get over it. Anyway, let's load this up if I can figure out how. And I've already been able to tell just in a short time that I've been dealing with it, this is a whole lot faster to load and unload than the Colts. Just loading five, of course. I'll see if I can hit anything with this while the camera's on. Guess what I forgot? And that really hurt. Why do y'all remind me? What? Oh yeah, my ears are ringing. I can't hear you. Let's try that again smarter this time. Back to half cock, and if I dump these on the ground, I gotta go hunting them, so I'm not gonna dump them. I'm just gonna dump them right here in my hand. Step right here, drop them off. Dump back. Boy, my ears are really ringing from that one shot. I ain't like forgetting with a 36 cap and ball or, a, or even a 38 special. That hurt. And I did that. I did that. I dropped a hammer on an empty chamber like I was going to shoot. Just 
just that fast. Let's see if I can eliminate that uh, that goof this time. I bet you I just did it right, finally. Miss. I think I go through ammo a lot faster with this gun, being that it loads and unloads so much faster. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot it one-handed or two-handed, but y'all like, and I think a lot of people can hit better with two hands than they can with one hand. I know I can. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not, but there's my neighbor next door has got turkeys in a pen, and almost every time I pull the trigger on this gun, the turkey gobbles just as soon as I pull the trigger. It's funny as it can be. It's boom, gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah. One more. I think I've gave the turkey a heart attack. Now I see it's still moving. Well, let's go feel. What can I say about it? First of all, it don't fit just perfectly in my uh, holster that, that I wear for my cap and ball revolvers and my man with no name 38, which is supposed to be a Navy conversion, you know. But if it's good enough, it's not going to just fall out. But I'm going to have to get a a, a, a a holster that fits better. I've already been online looking at them. Cimarron's got one for uh, this specifically says that it's for the uh, Schofield. And it don't look bad. I don't know if I want a cross draw or a strong side or what. But I'll, you know, y'all know I'm a fan of Cimarron. I mentioned it. I think I mentioned it at least once maybe. I have to go back over my videos. I might have brought that company up. And they, I don't have any sort of uh, agreement with them. They don't endorse me or do anything for me, but I don't know, I like their guns, I like their products. I, of course, I know it's U-Birdie guns, but I like having the Cimarron. All right, y'all got me, it's just the bumper stickers. I buy Cimarrons for the bumper stickers. But anyway. I, I, I don't get into status symbols with with clothes or, or shoes or, or cars or anything like that. Well, it wouldn't do me any good because I don't have any of that stuff, you know, that's worth anything. But if Cimarron's are, are a status symbol, I kind of like them. I, I mean, I, I think about them that way a little bit. You know, I've got several of them now. And that's not bragging. I'm just excited about it. I'm excited because I finally got this flipping Schofield that I've wanted for so long. Years I've been wanting one of these. Anyway, I guess I'll go be happy in the house. It's almost time for Alabama and Ole Miss to kick off. Oh, uh, if y'all like, subscribe. If you don't, believe me, I understand. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Take it easy.